It's hashtag Summer Friday, and I'm hashtag so ready for the hashtag weekend. Oh, sorry, I thought this was my Instagram. I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Here are your headlines. First up, Bitcoin raced to $22,315 on Friday, fueling optimism that the world's biggest cryptocurrency might be turning a corner after weeks of pain. If Bitcoin's seven-day gains are greater than 13.5% by the time of Sunday's close, this would be the biggest weekly gain so far this year. Bitcoin has been dusting itself off after suffering nine consecutive red weekly candles, plummeting to lows of $17,700. Nerves over the drama engulfing the Celsius network also led to a further two punishing weeks in June. Prices plunged 11% in the 23rd week of the year, followed by a jaw-dropping 23% loss in the 24th week. A former Celsius network employee is taking the embattled crypto lender to court. The lawsuit accuses the company of leveraging deposits from customers to manipulate crypto asset markets and further putting funds at risk by failing to introduce basic accounting controls. The legal action has been launched by Jason Stone, the CEO and founder of KeyFi. Court filings allege that he managed billions of dollars worth of crypto for Celsius, but their relationship broke down when he discovered the firm used customer Bitcoin deposits to inflate its own crypto asset called the Celsius token. Celsius has yet to comment on the lawsuit. Some shocking new research has exposed the scale of NFT thefts across major collections. On Twitter, 1K Beetlejuice revealed 130 bored apes have been marked as stolen or suspicious on OpenSea, rising to 268 mutant apes. When it comes to other collections, 202 Clone X NFTs fall into this category. Azuki, which has existed for less than six months, has seen 153 NFTs marked as stolen or suspicious, with 1.5% of supply frozen on open sea. Worse yet, 70 moonbirds are already frozen despite the fact that this collection has only existed for 10 weeks. Across all six of these collections, the current value of the stolen NFTs stands at 24,000 ETH, or about $29 million, based on current floor prices. It's a scary world out there, so hold your apes just a little tighter tonight. Finally, Elon Watch 2022 continues as a new report claims the musky one's plans to buy Twitter are in serious jeopardy. The Washington Washington Post claims that the billionaire has been unable to verify Twitter's figures on how many spam accounts exist on the social network. Musk's team has now ended discussions about financing the $44 billion deal. Potentially drastic action could be taken by Musk soon, with speculation growing that the Tesla CEO may attempt to wriggle out of the deal. To complicate things further, Twitter has now revealed that it removes more than 1 million spam accounts every day. Although this does show that the tech giant is waging a war on fake users, this is far higher than the 500,000 figure provided by Twitter's CEO, Parag Agrawal, back in May. But in this crazy world with 1 million fake users being removed daily, you know that I'm real people. It's not like I'm some bot forced to perform repetitive tasks daily, like reminding you to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. Beep, boop, <clears throat> sorry. I was clearing my throat. Don't forget to ask Alex in the description below for more info on our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and that metaverse thing that Zuckerberg loves. Anyway, again, I've been your totally not a bot and really real, real host Andrew, and these have been your headlines. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. See you Monday.